The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. The hotel... The hotel bar was fast enough. The hotel bar was
You've been a lovely audience. That enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. That time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Eh, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. Panchinello messing with V is bad for business all around. But that's not all. There is this guy, Boris Time, used to pull jobs for me. He's the captain of the cargo ship Charon. Now the bastard Turncourt has gone over to the other side, Poncinello's. The ship's loaded with high-res hardware, guns, my business. If Punchinello gets hold of that cargo, he's won and I have lost. And you'll have your work cut out for you. If you want to get to Punchinello, you will need heavy-duty persuaders. I am just the man, 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 just the man to get them for you. Change the ship back under my flag, maybe pop two in the traitor dime's head while you're at it. You'll get enough guns to start the apocalypse. You in or out? Let's get this show on the road. Vladimir was one of those old-time bad guys with honor and morals, which made him almost one of the good guys. None of us was a saint. The Brooklyn Riverfront was a maze of rusty containers, sharp bone cranes looming up from the snowstorm. On a night like this, you couldn't help but think of the dark army of dead men sleeping with the fishes, cement shoes in line. No minotaur lurked in this labyrinth, but somewhere out there, on the clanking deck of his cargo freighter, the skipper of the Chiron was waiting, like the ferryman of the River Styx.